Welcome everybody to the fifth quarter. This is the pre, the post game. Post. Nice. We're, we're it's over. This was not filmed beforehand. It's a done deal. The post game show for the Super Bowl. It is. Um, a lot of stuff happened. Whew. Tell me about it. And it looks like New England Patriots are once again your Super Bowl champions. I believe I called it four, four times in fourteen uh, yes. years. Yep. Wow, That'd that's amazing. 14. So they're really the greedy ones, not Seattle. That's interesting. That's an interesting way of putting it. Well. There was a lot of controversies throughout the game. Indeed. Most of that was just in the halftime show. True. But why don't you break down the game? Well, I'll get straight into it. It was towards the end of the game. Uh, ball's on the one-yard line. Everybody's been talking about it, whether to throw or pass. I think they made the right call. The throw was there. I think the offense did a great job. The defense just did a little bit better. But uh, I don't blame Pete Carroll. Seahawks went for it. You got to respect that. I think uh, on the one-yard line, you can just get a march on Lance. That's boring. People want to see passes. He gave the people what they wanted. Great game. So you're saying that Pete Carroll basically did it for the entertainment of the viewers at home and not for the Well, I'm rings. assuming he assumed it would work as well. It looked pretty good to Had me. Had it worked a lot during the season? Well, yeah. I mean, that play right there will work 9 out of 10 times easy. What do most teams usually do <clears throat> when they're on the one-yard line? Do they run it or do they... Well, most teams that like to win, like New England, with a great quarterback like Tom Brady throw all the time at the goal line. So I think uh, Pete Carroll tried to took a little uh, page of the Bill Belichick playbook. So he deflated uh, the balls? Mm, they looked a little lumpy. Um, I, I don't know if we can get this at all sourced. I mean, I've been looking all over for the source of sure. it. But afterwards, <clears throat> New England Patriots mm -hmm. actually deflated the tires to the bus for wow. Seattle Seahawks. So adding, you know, insult to injury. Wow, that that's just, that's really awful. That's, We're still looking wow. for a source on that, but that... We'll have yeah. to confirm that. Yeah. I'll have to check my sources. Wow. So, yes. um, the game pretty much was even going into the half. It was. It and was. then Seattle seemed to break away. Yes. Um, could it have been that maybe Tom Brady called everybody over in the fourth quarter and said, hey, everybody, they all gathered around really tightly, right. and then they started you know, taking air out of the footballs? Do you think that could have been a possibility? It might have factored in. I'm sure he did something because he's Tom Brady, and he, is Tom he Brady. can pretty much do anything. So I would assume he did whatever he needed to do to win. I like the watches he's that he wears. He does wear nice watches. He's very yeah, fashionable. During the game. Well, why not? Yeah. He's checking the time now. Well, yeah, do he wants I gotta, to there, too. Do I got to get yeah, home yeah, or anything? He wants to fight the, the crowds as well. Well... Fighting those crowds tough. is tough. Brutal. It is. Brutal. Holidays. Oh, yeah. my. I'm still, <laughs> still have a hip injury yes. from the holiday shopping. Wow. Black Fridays are tough. Whew. Black Friday is intense. But Blue Ball Tuesday. Wow. That sounds worse. It is a lot worse. I've never been, but it sounds worse. Well, you know, you're going to get there. So, um, Sass Sports has our uh, MVP. Yes. And who's that? Well, clearly, as yesterday proved once again, it's Tom Brady without a doubt. And why do you think Sass Sports chose Tom Brady? Well, he's the best player in the league. He Not because just... he's part of the Brady Bunch? I mean, that's a good show. So I could see, you know, Sass Entertainment's a big fan of pop culture. So I could see how that would factor in. We are. But, uh, you know, when you put up the numbers and most touchdowns ever in a Super Bowl, past Joe Montana. Wow. It's good enough for me. And Joe Montana was too busy eating pizza to even recognize that. Yeah, I think he was eating at Poppy's Pizza, Dan Ortiz's place. Yeah, <laughs> he loves that place. That's a good place Ortiz to go. Ortiz can make a pizza. So Tom Brady for MVP, Coach of the Year? It's still Bruce Arians. It, it's just, there's no doubt about it. And that's part of that St. Louis Cardinal team that you... The Arizona Cardinal team, yes. Where Mike Matheny is the bench coach. Yeah, I don't know. Yes. It's sad that they moved. Yeah. What are the Diamondbacks going to do about that? That's going to be hard. I don't know. It's gonna be a. Do they still play baseball. The Diamondbacks. Yeah, you know, I don't think they do anymore. Wow. I don't think they do since Matt, since Matt Williams left. I don't think they yeah. do. Yeah. Yeah. And you know he's coaching over in the East Coast now. So. Yeah, Washington. Um, yeah. The nation's capital. So we have the coach. We have the MVP. Yep. Defensive player of the year. I mean, it's defense. Who pays attention to defense, really? Yeah. For all you defensive people out there, <laughs> JJ Watt. Oh, JJ Watt. Lights out. He's pretty good. Organization. He's pretty good. Off. Clearly, last night we saw what organization the goal is to win a championship. It's New England, hands down. Sass yeah. Sports actually chose Dallas Cowboys. Hmm. Yeah, very interesting. Very yeah. interesting. Finally getting it to click together. Wow. New England was in the top three. Well, I would hope they just won. Yeah. I mean, yeah, top three. If that doesn't get you in the top three, I don't know what does. Well, money. Money uh, can get you anything. 
like Randy Moss once said, straight cash on me. Is there, like... He did say that. Gay money? You know, Randy Moss didn't clarify. No? Know. I'll have to check with him. I hear that there's a lot of money there, too. I will call him after the show. Well, you're into water sports, so, of course, that money is there. So... The halftime show, Katy Perry uh, comes out. Gotta love Katy Perry. Lenny Kravitz was there for a little <clears throat> bit, and then yeah. I sent up. He had like a wardrobe malfunction, and he left. He disappeared. He had a very quick appearance. Yeah, he was in there. He was yes. out. Played guitar. I think he sang like two lines. Uh, Katy Perry came riding in on a big, gigantic lion, tiger, lion. I like to go with tiger. I don't know. Eye of something. I think it was a tiger. Eye of the tiger. Yeah. It was big. Sylvester Stallone was there, you know. He was. He was running up the stage, back and down, up and down, up and down. Expendables 14 <laughs> is coming out. I so can't I'm wait. Like, Sign me up. Ooh, that's gonna I'll be watch Expendables until they can't make them anymore. Well, that's not going to happen. <laughs> okay, so how did you think about the um, halftime show? Oh, I'm very pro Katy Perry, so you just, I already knew going into it she was going to put on a great show, and she didn't disappoint. I thought it was a pretty good show. Yeah. It was very clean, not very dirty at all. Whatsoever. You say like a bad thing. Were you looking for her? No, no, no. That's what I'm saying. Oh, okay. You know, good, good, like, good, good, good. you know, she didn't have like a wardrobe malfunction no, or anything. No, uh, no. I mean, the the tiger made it all the way up to the stage. Good. I thought it was kind of neat that she left on the um, the more you know. You know, I didn't get that. I, I saw the hashtag. I had to Google it. I forgot what more you know is. Yeah. I didn't know. But I guess it's an old school like star well, from actually, NBC. NBC still does it. Wow. Oh, yeah. Well. Wow. I don't know. I was too busy doing You're research for uh, too busy on Netflix. For upcoming baseball shows, so I don't know. All right. Yeah. So, well, there you have it. We have New England Patriots 28, which you I called it. Score. I did. Tom ready for touchdowns. 24 for the Seattle Seahawks. I was a little off by that by a couple points, but pretty close. So, yeah. really good game overall. It was. I really very enjoyed good. it. Very, very exciting towards yeah. the end. Yeah. Flags going down, punches being thrown. Oh, WWE once again. You love WWE. Out. Yeah, there was I had to bring a little smile on your face. Yeah, uh, you know when Gronkowski came out yeah. with a chair. That's when I got a little questionable, though. A little too much. Like, yeah, well, a little much. He just picked up a chair. They're ah. bolted down for crying out loud. Yeah. Bolted down, and he picked it up. He's a strong man. He is a very strong man, and I was really glad that they. He, first thing when punches started flying, Tom Brady and Gronkowski both, not the face. Well, I yeah. like that. Well, I like that. Yes. And then the Seahawks. They got to think about their brand. You know, and with Marshall Lynch and, you know, Sherman, I mean, not to, yeah. you know, say, hey, I don't care, you know, we're going to tag team this. They tried. Pretty it. good. Yeah. Pretty I good. I agree. It was uh, quite a interesting finish there. Yeah. Seattle fans, you know, deflated. <laughs> Very deflated, <laughs> over, yes. Over um, not being able to be back-to-back, -back, <laughs> creating true. a sort of a dynasty. That's true. You know, a new... In, in, I don't know you think two North. championships calls a dynasty. Well, well, that's... Wait till Tom Perdue... I mean, come on. <laughs> Tom Purdue. Next year. Let's hope he sticks to writing instead um, of uh, broadcasting. Next year. Yes. Do you think both these teams have a chance to go? Uh, Any windows closing? I think Seattle's window has closed. I think New England's will still be open as long as Tom Brady's still out there. He's too good. Well, there you have it. I mean, Seattle, you got to figure out. I mean, they're in the Cardinals division, so the odds of them getting past Arizona for another year. Not, not going to happen. No. Not, not with Arians oh, no, coaching. Arians and Carson Palmer will be yeah. it healthy. We hope. And if Fitzgerald comes back, which he probably will. So, but, well, and as long as people start recognizing the Cardinals as a football team, that would probably help a little bit as well. That could be a great. Well, that's why we're here to educate the public. So. All right. Well, thank you for joining us for the post game post -game. show of the Super Bowl. I'm Scott Ashley Smith. This is Michael Cezina. And you've been watching the fifth quarter here on SAS Sports. Subscribe, like, thank us, you know. Build like little. Share it. Yeah, Instagram do it. Oh, gosh. Inzo, you are big well, in Snapchat Instagram. this right now. Snapchat. What's that? Snapchat. What's that? You like it. Look at it. Google it. Goodbye, everybody.